Hello, dear ones. This is Alice. I'm over here in the mountain park, and this this is where I've been meditating lately in the early morning. And I just thought I'd show you the view here. I think there's some coyotes under the rocks over there that live there, but they don't show up much during the day. And uh, it's a right nice scenery here. Beautiful rocks, beautiful chaparral. Kind of sitting on top of the world here. Very nice. And so, while I was sitting here today, I got here in the afternoon today, I was noticing these little, I guess they're California wild oats. And, uh, if you, if you look at them closely, you can see them just moving gently back and forth and um, kind of like they're dancing. And uh, then, so then I was thinking about that dancing thing and I noticed the, um, the chaparral over here with the beautiful flowers on it. And uh, once in a while those flowers started bobbing and dancing a little bit gently, too. Sort of mesmerizing. And uh, we say that when we see this, we don't think twice about it. We, we just say, the wind is moving the flowers and making them move. But you know, nobody's ever seen the wind. Uh, we, the scientists say there is a wind, but we've never seen it. Um, but what we do see, we see the chaparral very vividly, and we see how it is moved, you know, it's not moving on its own, although it does have movement, but this is not that. It's being moved. And while I was watching all that, I got to thinking about breathing, and how I breathe during meditation. I breathe in and I breathe out. And you know, we say, I breathe in and out, but actually, we don't know what's going on. We don't know how we're breathing in and out. All we know is the lungs are moving by whatever method, and, and we stay alive because of it. We're kept, we're sustained, and we're, we're kept alive by an unseen force that we take for granted. Let's see. So, I'm going to try and push this back. Here we go. I thought I'd tell you a story about a, a dream I had today. I came back from an early morning walk and I fell asleep and I had a dream. And while the dream went like this, I was a human being on a planet that was not Earth. It was far light years from Earth. And, and I was sitting and meditating something like here. And while I meditated, I started thinking about the far-flung human race, all the other humans on other planets and other solar systems in my, in my universe. And the minute I thought it, I, my awareness went to another planet that had humans on it. And I saw that these humans um, were trapped and enslaved by a cruel alien species. And they had no, essentially no free, free will. And the light of their hearts had been chained down, had been darkened. And the memory that of the greatness that they really were, they had forgotten. And my heart went out to them. And suddenly I, 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 I was there on that planet and I could see a little child, about three years old, a little girl, sitting on someone's lap. And um, 
I felt such compassion for her. I, my hand, I, with my hand, I touched her heart, and I, I blessed her with the blessing that she should be free and her, all her people free. And the minute I did that, my my worldview turned upside down, and suddenly I was that child looking out from that world, and that world was this one. Um, it was very jarring for me, really. It was not bad or good. It was just an amazing sensation to to be someone from such a different place, a human being from such a different place, and then all of a sudden to be here in, in a human body, in this solar system, a completely different place. It reminded me of the first time I remembered a past lifetime, and it so happened that lifetime was, uh, I was a man, and I remembered my point of view then, and at the time, I had no idea, I, I mean, I'm, I didn't have an understanding of, of how men are. I had a woman's point of view, and the, and the minute I realized that I had been in a, in a recent past lifetime a man, and that, that I had had the point of view that I considered alien, I, I was very shocked. It was very jarring also to find myself in a completely different perspective suddenly. So I just thought I'd talk to you a little today about about what we see and what we don't see and what we what's sustaining us and what's restraining us that that's invisible to us. Just something to think about. And I wish you all freedom and happiness and plenty to eat. Until I see you again. Goodbye. <laughs> we can turn this off. <laughs>